I want to know how are you right now? Oh, thank you. Thanks for asking. Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, it's it's obviously been a really challenging time uh, for everyone, and I, I just want to send out my best best wishes uh, to anyone that's been affected uh, by this. And, and and I understand that you're still still under lockdown. Um, and I'm really sorry to hear that. I hope it eases up very soon. Uh, but over here, um, the the lockdown has eased up. We're we're able to go out. Uh, still can't do live concerts. Um, you can't really have any more gatherings than say like 10 people. Um, and um, But yeah, I, I, I'm coping quite well because being a musician, uh, I can stay home and write songs and, and play my piano, play my guitar. And, and yeah, so, so uh, it, 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 it certainly could be worse. So I, I, I'm grateful to be able to, to continue to do what I love to do. So thanks for asking. Yeah, aside from writing and creating new songs, what are the new things or hobbies or interests mm -hmm. that you learned to do while while on quarantine? Well, that's that's what you hear a lot is people have discovered new talents and but actually um I haven't I haven't started gardening or I, I certainly haven't started dancing on TikTok, that's for sure. Not yet. Um but I <laughs> um ha have you? <laughs> Um, Have you? No, 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 no. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Um, so, I um, I just seen it as an opportunity to do all the things that I hadn't had time to do before. I had a long list of songs that I was working on that I was writing, producing. So, rather than uh, rather than you know discover new talents, I kind of just focused on um, you know uh, making the most of the time that I have to work on. Yeah, some of the old talents that I've got. Yeah, how about with the boy band? How about with A1? How are you right now? I believe you yeah. just had your online concert a few right. weeks ago. That's so right. yes. how is the band coping up with the pandemic? You know, um, we were on tour when everything broke out and we had to cancel the last uh, part of the tour. And fortunately, that's been rescheduled for next year. And we were actually uh, recording our album whilst together on tour, the next, the new album that we're planning to put out next year. But unfortunately, we had to put all that on hold. Um, so other than Zoom chats like this, we've not really been able to have too much uh, communication, unfortunately. But several months passed by and we felt we really need to connect with our fans. I mean, other than just the usual IG Live and Facebook Live, we, we felt that we needed to give more um, and to connect with more people from around the world. So we did our first online concert and uh, it turned out to be quite a big success. It was great fun. We did lots of Q&A and it was so nice to see everyone on the screen. Um, and it's, it's not the same. It's, of course, it's not the yeah, same as actually yeah, of being out on the road, but it's the next best thing for now. And uh, it went down so well that we're planning to do it again um in october and previously we just set one time that meant that it would be quite difficult for uh, our filipino fans to join us because it was quite late and that they end up being quite long shows we the last one was was two hours we were talking to wow. around like two hours straight you can probably tell i mean i like to talk a lot and if you have all four if you have four, four of us together we tell a lot of stories and we get a lot of fans on the screen to ask questions and um, so we're now going to do one specifically for uh, a Filipino time. So, uh, so that's actually more of a, a better time in the evening. So we're going to be doing it on October the 2nd, 7.30 p.m. your time. Okay. So, um, yeah, that leads me to my next question, Mark. No, um, your collaboration with Morissette is such <laughs> a huge, it's just yeah. a huge thing. I mean, millions of views that like her rose collab. So are we expecting right. to have A1 to have a collaboration with Morissette again, or perhaps some local artists on, on October online concert for the Filipinos? Oh, oh that would be amazing. Um, you may have just given me an idea there. <laughs> um, who, would you, who would you recommend? Oh my God, we have so many great artists oh, aside know, from Morissette. Aside yeah, from Morissette, yeah. we have Oh no, I can't, I really can't say a specific it's artist. Pick. It's yeah. really hard. But who are your thoughts? Well, 
Um, we talked about uh, Ben and Ben before because we we all really like that 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 band. They're fantastic. But I think I think it would be it's a great idea, and I think it would be really nice if we could do a collaboration um, with a Filipino artist exclusively for that show. So so. Uh, You've given me the idea. Thank you very much. Let's see what we can do. So check back on October the 2nd to see see what, what happens. Fingers crossed we can make that happen. I mean, the collaboration with Morissette came about because Ben did a single with her, a Christmas single. And um, uh, and then whilst on lockdown, uh, she had some time to record Like a Rose. And it was a really good duet. It, was, it, was, it sounded great. And as you say, it's, it's blown up on, on YouTube and Facebook. It's got millions of views. And um, so hopefully we get the opportunity to collaborate with her again. Um, but I, yeah, I'd, I'd love to record with another artist. I was looking at the, uh, I've just been uh, introduced to the, the band SB19. Oh my so, gosh. Um, oh. That would be, that would be pretty amazing. But ben that's ben quite a lot of. SB19. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that, that's quite a lot of people to get on screen. So we'll, we'll see what we can do. Okay. Now let's talk about Smile Again. Okay. Yes. yes. My God. Um, your first single for three years, correct? Well, at least. Well, yeah. As me as a solo, me as a solo artist, even longer. Yeah. Yeah. So, how did you, how did you do it, and what is the song all about? How did this song happen? How did mm -hmm. the song happen? Well, earlier in the year, I, I hadn't planned on releasing any new solo material because. Obviously, A1, we're very busy. We're working on a new album and, and uh, we're touring. So um, this came about very spontaneously because of being in lockdown. Earlier in the year, uh, I wrote a song called Where Were You When the World Stopped? And that was a song that I put out online. And it was only like a quiet release. It wasn't like a big, big single release. But it was very specifically about life in lockdown. The, the opening line of the song is Where Were You When the Virus Struck? And uh, the chorus is, I was at home, keeping my distance. So it's very, very literal, um, but it's quite a powerful song. And I felt that I needed to release something that was kind of like a companion song that was more, if Where Were You was about being in lockdown, Smile Again is about coming out again and coming out into the world and uh, with a newfound strength, inner strength and confidence that just kind of helps you to face the world uh, and, and no matter how dark it is, you can still, you know, uh, you can still come out again and smile. And I think that's that's what the song is about. And um, it was written a few years ago, but I'd, I'd had this song that I really believed in. And I just feel like this was the perfect time to release this song. So um, good timing. So far, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, the thing is about when we when we have certain challenges and adversities in life, um, sometimes uh, that adversity helps you to be really creative. A lot of people do a lot of great things under pressure and in, during difficult times. And I think that this song just kind of spoke to me and it spoke to a lot of other people as well. So that's, it felt like the right time to release a song about going out into the world again. Yeah. Having said that, Mark, what made you smile again? Mm, um, Huh. Well, what's made me smile again is the ability to be able to connect and to uh, uh, reach out to so many of our amazing fans in the world, and you know, particularly in the Philippines. That that, is, that gives me a, a, a permanent smile because, um, you know, you, I don't think I don't think the fans realise how much they help help us. We get so many wonderful messages saying, you know, thank you for this song. It helped me get through a hard time, and but. On the flip side, your support is is what keeps us going, and and you're like a, you really are like a lifeline for us as well. So it goes both ways. So I just want to say thank you so so much for all the support and and the positive reaction to uh, Smile Again as well. You've mentioned the word positive. I mean, I heard the song. It brings back a lot of positive vibes, you know, smile okay. again, yeah. Yeah. smile again. I it's love this. <laughs> it's, you, it's, see, you, you sound really good. You sound, are you, are you, I mean, like, you're the perfect example that 
Philippines have some of the best singers in the world. They just do. But it's, can everyone sing in the Philippines? Is, is everybody a good singer? <laughs> I think so. It really runs in our blood, <laughs> I would yeah, like to yeah. say. <laughs> but yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, okay. Can you, I want to hear from you directly. Can you sing a few lines of Smile Again for the Filipino fans? Yeah, I, I don't have my piano on at the moment, but I can sing it a cappella. A cappella. Can, and I say, of course. Can. Smile again, smile again. Any good to know the sun comes out after the rain? Good to see you smile again, smile again. It took a while, but it's good to see you smile again. Yeah. Wow. wow, that's so nice, Mark. I know. Ah. Um, how are you now? I, in terms of you know. Um, of artistry in terms of musicality. How did this pandemic change your perspective in life? Uh, you're absolutely right. It really did. It certainly did. So I guess we've all been experienced in that to some extent where it helps you to, to reevaluate things, to, to, to you know, um, prioritize certain things, prioritize things like family, prioritize the people that are closest to us. And I think what lockdown... I mean, yeah, 2020 has been a pretty tough year, but it's not all been bad. There has been some really positive things as well. And I think some of the positive things to come out of it is how we have connected with people more than we ever have before. I think this whole pandemic has brought us all closer together. And so the way I look at it is I always try to see a positive in everything. And the, my takeaway is how it's brought us all together. And there's, there's nothing like a global global pandemic that brings everybody closer together to try and support each other and to be a support system for each other. So, yeah, that, that's my biggest takeaway from the year. Okay. Now, I heard you sing a few lines of Smile Again, but, of course, can you do me a favor? What would sure. be the one A1 song that you want to offer to the Filipino fans amid the pandemic? You know, I... I can tell you that the Filipino fans, they, are, they own all, all of our songs. They, they have made them their own. They take like, great ownership over these songs, and I really appreciate that. Every time I hear uh, uh, someone in the Philippines singing an A1 song, such as yourself, that was really lovely as well. But, I mean, I mean like, um, and hearing Morissette sing Like Rose was incredible. Really, really moving. Oh, my God. Especially our generation. We grow up mm -hmm. to A1 songs. I yeah, mean, yeah, we've yeah. been listening to your song since our grade school years. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so, it's really lovely to hear. So I, 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 when I think of, I, I think it's Like a Rose is certainly the song that has um, resonated and connected with people the most. And, and I, I love to hear that. And, and also songs like uh, One More Try, um, uh, we have another song, Living the Dream, which we love performing when we're over there. One last song, um, Heaven by Your Side. Do you know Heaven by Your Side? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so Heaven by Your Side. <laughs> you and I cannot hide the love we feel inside, the words we need to say. Do you want to take it? I feel that yeah, I, I have always, always wanted to yeah. Now that you're here, here with, with me, me I will always be. be. Yes, yeah, is oh, sweet. So that <laughs> I that's, forgot that's the lyrics, the but I know the rhythm. Oh, no, it's okay. I put you on the spot there. I think you did great. And suddenly, our destiny has started to unfold. When and you're next, next to me. me I can, I can see, see the greatest story love and never told. told. Yeah! Ah, thank Sweet. you. Okay. Speaking of A1, Mark, I mean, you've been around for more than two decades now. I mean, you took a break for a while, you know, but still A1 is there. What is the yeah. secret to A1's success that you resonate from generations, from back in the 90s up to the present one what's what's the secret behind a1 success 
I'm not just saying this because I'm talking to you today, but I will say it is the fan base that we have. It's 100% down to the support of our amazing fan base that has stayed with us and has grown with us and kept the uh, A1 uh, message alive and out there. And by, you know, continuing to embrace our music, embrace us as uh, a people, which means so much to us. So I, I think the... It, you know, there is no formula. There is no formula to success. Uh, we obviously all wish there was, but actually it's just about the connection that you make with your fans. That is the most important thing that any band needs to learn more. You know, having great songs is very, very important, but to go alongside with that, it's all about the relationship that you, you develop with your fans. And um, that relationship just feels stronger than ever. Now that we have social media that we can connect with our fan base and uh, keep in touch with them. And uh, I, I, I think that is, that is the, the key and that is the secret is um, an amazing yeah. fan base. In addition to that, Mark, no, as a fan, I think we, the fans, also saw how close you are as a band. I mean, you're like brothers, so we can feel yeah the genuine relationship of the band with each other, the members with each other. Yeah, that's, that's incredible, uh, incredibly important too as well. And you know, being in a band and also obviously having to work together for many, many years, we all took a break for a while. We went off and did some different things, um, but now we're back together, all four of us, and we still have that great relationship. Now, when you, when you join us on our online concerts, when you see our online show, you see the kind of fun that we have together, even on Zoom. We still make each other laugh and we still, we still play around and clown around like we were, we were kids again. And I think that's the magic that we have together. And I think the fans can relate to that. And that, and that you know, that, that, it takes them back to a simpler, happier time in their lives, in their childhood, when the growing up, they heard these songs, they saw us as a band and, um, yeah, I, I, I think that's that's a big part of it as well. Okay. Now, Mark, to wrap this interview, um, can you give the Filipino fans a special shout out, your message to Filipino fans, and invite everyone to download your latest single, Smile Again? Okay. Um, where do I begin? Uh, you know, I think about you guys all the time, and, and you're a big part of my life, big part of my daily life, and the whole band. And, and I really appreciate all of your support and how much you, you know, help to get the word out there about A1's new songs and, and my new song, Smile Again. So thanks so much for the continued support. Mahal Qatar. Um, and uh, I, I, I would say Mahal Qatar Jawa, uh, but I might get in trouble. Um, and also, what's this? Sana All? Sana All, yes. Sana All. Sana All. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> and of course. So, um, yeah, so thanks so much for your support. Yeah, remind everyone to keep safe. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, I hope you're keeping well. Uh, I'm really thinking of you at this difficult time. I, I know that you're still in lockdown. I really hope things change soon. So stay safe, look after each other, support each other, and, and we'll certainly get through this. So send in my love. God bless. Can you see... Keep safe. The, um, the Filipino version of keep safe is ingat kayo. Yeah. Ingat kayo. Can you say ingat kayo? Ingat. Kayo. Ingat. Ingat. Yes. Ingat yes, yes, kayo. So uh, stay safe. Gotcha. Stay safe, everyone. Ingat kayo. <laughs>